Hi, I'm Tom from Frank Harvey Hi-Fi Excellence. Today I want to speak to you about Denon's new DM41. If you follow me into the demo room, we'll have a closer look at the product and then have a quick listen to it. Denon's DM41 has very big boots to fill. Its predecessor, the DM40, was a Watt Hi-Fi award winner in its category and getting a solid five stars. However, it seems already that it is going to be taking the reins as what hi-fi as of june the first have given this product a five star review and they have mentioned that it is a significant upgrade in pretty much all ways over the predecessor and there's also the op added option for bluetooth on the dm41 which it didn't have before so let's have a look inside the box and see what we get so when we first open the box, the first thing that we come across is the trusty manual and quick start guide. There's also a CD copy of this in the box. And the next thing is the unit itself, which is covered in a protective film at the moment. And then we have a remote, the power cable, some batteries, which is a nice little generous offering from Denon there and our DAB and FM radio aerial. So once we have the unit out of the box, as we can see, the DM41's front fascia has been updated quite a bit. Denon state that this is to match up with their flagship NE separate series. The most noticeable things to me on the front of the unit is that the disc tray is now featured above the screen and that screen has become much larger and fits a lot flatter to the front of the unit and overall this gives it a much sleeker design. Spinning the DM41 around reveals a number of connections on the rear of the unit. First of all we've got the antenna for our DAB and FM aerials at the top. Then we have our analog RCA input. This is for another device such as Denon's DP200 turntable or possibly something like a HEOS link if we wanted to integrate it into a wireless network. There's a subwoofer pre-out as well, and then two optical inputs, and these are for boosting something like a TV's sound, and then we've just got the speaker terminals right there. Now let's talk about it, the internals of the unit in a bit more detail. So internally, the DM41 has been completely redesigned. There's a brand new amplification board inside of there. And again, this is giving 30 watts of power per channel, which is very sufficient for a micro system, really. Um, there's also a dedicated headphone board in there. This is obviously used for more personal listening requirements. The whole internals of this unit has been designed so it recreates sound based on Denon's simple and straight concept. The DM41 has what Denon calls a triple noise reduction design internally and this preserves the signal purity of the unit because as we know any boards inside of a unit can have negative effect being interference and noise to the sound and triple noise reduction essentially eliminates three of the sources of noise which could impact the sound this being from the input section also the electronic volume control and the power amp stage and the effect of having the triple noise reduction in place is that it provides a much smoother sound so the big addition to the dm41 is that it now has a Bluetooth connection. I think this was something a lot of people were looking forward to. Um, this will make the unit pretty much wireless, so we can connect any phones or tablets which have Bluetooth capability on them. And this will then give us access to our Spotify or Tidal accounts. And potentially, if you were connected to the wireless network on those devices, you could also access internet radio. Um, now Denon say that the Bluetooth stage within the unit completely shuts off when it's not in use and turned off and this will then enhance the sound from the other sources such as the radio or the CD section. So then now down to the part that we've all been looking forward to, let's get this connected up and have a listen to how the DM41 sounds.
on wheels clocked up beneath the clouds they count down to show time when we do it for real with the crowd so my first impressions of the DM41 are that for 279 it sounds absolutely fantastic and it's going to be difficult to beat. Denon have got a really, really excellent product again in the DM41 so I think it's going to live up to the hype that the DM40 did. So for great deals on this and many more please visit our website www.highfix.co.uk and please do not hesitate to hit subscribe below and see more of our videos. Thank you.